is our Shark Week, and we are starting Sunday off with some shark scrambled eggs and toast, some submarine sandwiches and coral, fish and chips for dinner, and shark bake bait a popcorn for fun dessert. Monday is going to be islands and driftwood with a shark charcuterie for lunch, which is going to be full of sea cucumbers, octopus dip, shark fins, chum, shark teeth, and shark watermelon. And then dinner is catch of the day with our famous tuna casserole that I've shared with you before. And then we are excited to have Galaxy's Edge Blue Milk, which is shark milk, of course. And then Tuesday is Under the Sea Waffles with Under the Sea Shells for lunch. And then it's Taco Tuesday, so it has to be Mexican food. And that's going to be shark quesadillas. And then a fish food dessert, which is gummy worms. And then we are going to do our science project of the week, which is our summer beach density tower. And then on Wednesday, we're going to have Life Savers in the Ocean shark sticks for lunch which is fish sticks and then a shark pizza for dinner we're also going to do our shark craft on wednesday and then on thursday we are going to have shark pancakes monte cristo tuna sandwiches coral reef lasagna and then for dessert we're going to have gummy sharks in the ocean and then we are going to play a science game that should be a lot of fun an energy transfer game that has sharks and little fish then on Friday, we are going to have shark toast and jam for breakfast. For lunch, we'll be having shark sandwiches and driftwood. And then for dinner, we will have grilled shrimp and seaweed pasta. And then we are going to have shark bowls. All of my menus are going to be one week ahead so that I can share with you how these recipes actually turned out, what my children thought of them, and some fun clips throughout the week. So after I share this menu with you, be sure to watch the end and you can see the execution of some of these recipes and how they turned out and how much fun they were. Then to finish our week, we are going to have shark oatmeal in the morning, seaweed salad and breadsticks, shark bait, which is code for leftovers, and another fun art project. Today for breakfast is islands and driftwood. So the driftwood is the breakfast sausage links and the islands are the eggs, the little island with the sand around it. And my children are calling the hash browns the boats. It's all in the wording. Is it yummy? Yay. Okay, so this is our shark charcuterie board and they're going to be so excited. Okay, so it's all in the words, nothing too fancy, just an index card cut up and a little bit of Sharpie, it makes it all so fun. So this is our rolled up shark and it's just some turkey and some sliced cucumber for sea cucumbers and then some triangular cheese for shark teeth, some salsa for chum, some blue tortilla chips for shark fins, and then we have Mr. Octopus hanging out over here and that's a red sliced bell pepper. I just sliced off the top for the head and they used the bottom for the feet. Two olives with toothpicks for the eyes and he is hanging out in some French onion dip. So I have that. I put the pineapple top in the middle just for a little bit of tropical shark fun. And then we have our pineapple for a little bit of tropical sunshine. So that is our board and the children are going to love On it. On today's menu is the catch of the day, tuna rice casserole. If you haven't caught that recipe before, I have it on a what's for dinner. I'll link it above. So that's what's for dinner tonight. And the children love this. It's a massive dish. We're gonna have leftovers, but they're going to have three servings. <laughs> it's one of their absolute favorites and so easy, so budget friendly. This is a budget meal, especially for a large family. So tonight is Galaxy's Edge Shark, we're calling it, blue milk from Disney World. We've been excited to make this for a long time and I have been procrastinating because I couldn't find the dragon fruit, but we found it at the Asian supermarket recently and I found some coconut milk in a can at Walmart and I finally found the rice milk and it was in an odd section. It was down the baking aisle at Walmart, just at the, on a bottom shelf. So found that kind of expensive. I think it's $5.69. So hopefully it's fabulous <laughs> to make up for that. So we have that, we have some orange juice, watermelon, a cup, a half a cup of pineapple is one blender full. So this might be a couple blender fulls and some vanilla extract 
and a couple of drops of blue food dye. This is teal, so we might have a little bit of a teal blue milk, but that's okay. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. You said the same thing I told ya. My eyes are clear, there's no secret. I wanna know. So, this is our Galaxy's Edge Blue Milk from Disney World, and we think it's pretty fantastic. Yay. It's amazing. Yay. I love so it. So today is under the sea waffles. So we have some little crab waffles that I think everyone's going to be very excited about. And I think under the sea crabs for breakfast is a winner. Yay. Did you like it, baby? Yeah. And all the Taco Tuesday fun with shark quesadillas. I just cut the sides off of a tortilla, cut out a little mouth, put two little olives, for eyes, I stuffed a little piece of white tortilla in the middle of each eye, took my kitchen scissors, and cut a few triangles out of tortillas. Done. <laughs> Super easy, lots of fun, fabulous for Shark Week. Ready for Shark Quesadillas? Yay! Yay! Today is Life Savers in the Ocean. It's all in the wording. So we have our little Life Savers and a few drops a blue in some milk for our ocean and that is it so for shark week life savers in the blue blue ocean it's the little things that make things so much fun it really doesn't take a whole lot and they are just gonna love that yay So today we're going to do a little physics science experiment for Shark Week. All you need is some vegetable oil, a jar or a cup. I have a bag of sand from Dollar Tree and some Panama Beach seashells because we recently went to Panama Beach if you caught that video and a little bit of water with a couple of drops of blue dye and we are excited to see what happens. <laughs> Yay! We're stirring up Yay! our blue water. Okay. okay, first things first. Eldest, can you cut open the sand and pour it in? Okay. Use it. Take it. Mm. Well, it's real sand. Yeah. It's not Anna is going to pour in our yellow vegetable oil and just keep pouring, pumpkin. What stop do I can do? What do you think is going to happen? It's so sinking. Wow. It looks like a tsunami craft we did once. Yeah! Look. Mom, Mom, what about me? I want to do it. Absolutely. I want to do this just so much. Okay, okay. Hey, you and Judy are both going to do this. You get half the shells, and Judy gets half the shells. But Alyssa's going to go first. Drop yep, drop it in. Pump drop it. every single little one you have. <gasps> yeah, there you go. It looks like waves inside. Uh, Back down. And let it all settle. What do you think is going to happen when we just leave it there? It's going to blow up. It's going to blow up. <laughs> I've made some shark bait popcorn, and it has Swedish fish and shark sprinkles in it. And now we're going to go have a family movie night. I think they're going to be really excited. And now for lunch, we have some under the sea shells. Shark pizza is going to go in the oven and get nice and crispy for dinner and a little bit of seaweed salad for Shark Week, which Miss Eight is very excited about. It's the, <laughs> Yay. It's the best. Wonderful. The shark pizza is ready to be eaten. He swam his way right onto our cutting board, and we are excited for dinner. What do dinner. you think, Olaf? Good to go? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Today is pancake sharks, so every shark is different, <laughs> but so much fun. My little girl requested a seahorse, so she has a seahorse, and then we have a little chocolate chip eye and all the sprinkles. Maybe this one's a whale shark, <laughs> so all a little bit different and so much fun. Even my husband 
has a shark pancake. I'm gonna make him some eggs and bacon to go with his because that's what he wants. But this is our shark breakfast. Yay. Shark pancakes. Judah, are you excited about your shark pancake? Yay! Asher, are you excited about shark pancakes? Yes. Yay! Ow. Hannah, you excited? Uh, yes. Listen, are you excited about seahorses? Yay! Are you excited, pretty girl? Yay! Ow. Are you I get excited? It you know it! It is shark oatmeal. If you see the little apple fin sticking out of that ocean, I think it's a really fun, <laughs> simple way to do Shark Week. Are you ready for your shark oatmeal? Yay. Today we have shark sandwiches in driftwood. And I really didn't waste a lot of bread with this. I just kind of rearranged it all. So I cut a half circle, a triangular cheese <laughs> with the little teeth, some of those button eyes we saw at Dollar Tree, and the pretzel sticks for driftwood. And we included Daddy, because Daddy Shark is just as loved as the children. And um, I think they're going to enjoy it. Are you excited, it. Tessa? Yeah. Yay, yum. Ooh, you like the button eye. So tonight is Shark Bowls, and I think it's going to be super cute. I picked these up at Dollar Tree. It was a two-pack for $1.25. So not bad, and it's going to be perfect. I think they're going to turn out super cute. So we will see. No matter what, lots of fun. <laughs> A few shark bowl making supplies, a box of jello, some blue gummy sharks from Dollar Tree, and some nerds. I'm gonna let this cool off a little bit before I pour in my shark pebbles and put my shark in because I don't want them to melt and the color come off. So I'm just gonna let them set and cool off just a little bit. Shark bowls. <laughs> so I put some nerds at the bottom as rocks, and then I filled it with some blue jello and a gummy shark in the middle, and then I let that harden in the fridge for a little bit. And then I mixed some more blue jello with whipped cream, poured that in, let that harden, and then topped it with some whipped cream. They are with their little lids on it, so easy peasy little treat. We could even take these to the park and they would work out just fine. That's all for what's on the menu. We had such a fun week. I hope you found some fun things that you can try as well. If you like things like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can see what's on the menu next week. Until next time, guys. Bye.